Rams made their grand entrance. This is a big one. The rematch of Super Bowl 55 featuring the defending champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Bradley Pinion set to go. Boy, no shortage of intrigue in this one. And the Bucs and the Chiefs are underway from Kansas City. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. I knew he was going to be good. I don't really think that anybody anticipated him being this good. I, I definitely wonder why the Raiders were playing him earlier. I'm still wondering why that you don't see a little bit more out of Malcolm Truth, but you got to be really, really, really proud of what you've seen so far out of Divine. He's been, well, Divine. Let's go to Rack Noel. The Raiders have been playing well without Abram. Could he get cut or traded this offseason? Will the Raiders uh, expect uh, to extend his fifth-year option? If I was Las Vegas, I would say no to extending Donovan Abrams' fifth-year option. Personally, I like Abrams. He's a good spark plug. But over the past two weeks, one thing I've noticed, if Abrams not in the game, teams, uh, they can't throw as easily. And if you can't throw as easily, there's less broken plays. Diablo's really stepped up. I think the Raiders have played much better on defense. The fact that Abram isn't in the game, and that's just the honest of God truth. He can stop the run, but it's as well as Perriman, as well as Divine Diablo have been playing. I'll trust those guys in my linebackers to be able to stop the run. In terms of cutting Abram, no. I don't see that happening because you have to pay, I believe it's like $3 million in terms of dead cap it. Oh, if yeah, you would be willing to trade Abram, I would say go oh, ahead no. and do it because, again, the Raiders are a better football team right now, I personally believe, with Jonathan Abram not in the field. Now, the Raiders do make a move for Abram, or if they trade him away, if they cut him, again, it would definitely be a surprise. I'm going to go ahead and I would make a video around that to make sure that you guys don't make miss uh, anything. Uh, around three, around three, around the entire offseason draft, hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications because I know a lot of other Raiders content creators are going to go away once the season ends. I don't go away. I've made a video on this channel every single day for almost three straight years, and that's not going to change. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. What up, Nebula Raider? Keep car. Is there any quarterback in the two-minute drill that gets it done as much as he does? Our leader, and it will be tough to get another. Yes, there's actually quite a few quarterbacks that are actually better than D.C. in the two-minute drill. Like, I get it. Carr, he has a lot of game-winning drives. The defense, though, I personally believe deserves a lot of credit in some of those game-winning drives because in the past two games where the Raiders have gone down to be able to score, they haven't scored over 24 points. So, um, D.C., when you really look at a lot of the numbers the past five weeks, four touchdowns, eight turnovers, I'm not going to sit here and say he's been great. He's made some clutch throws, like that throw that he made to Hunter Renfro this past week. Very, very clutch. He's also missed a lot, too. So, I mean, there's probably 10 other quarterbacks that I would take over Derek Carr in the two minutes drill. Christian Das Boot, let's get this W. I did a few Das Boots and they definitely kicked my butt. Probably going to do a few more this week on Sunday Night Football, so make sure you guys subscribe. Tune in for my Raiders and Chargers watch party. What up, Mystic? Would anyone in Allegiant Stadium really be mad if we clinch the playoffs before kickoff and the Raiders and Chargers just now 15 times? So, like, that's the thing I was brought up. If the Jags beat the Colts, both the Raiders and the Chargers could take deals every single play and both teams would clinch the playoffs. I mean, I think it would be one of those things that the Raiders win, you're like, all right, they did the right thing. If the Raiders lost and you knew that they could just kneel and get into the playoffs, then you would be pretty upset. It's definitely an interesting thing, no. I think the Jacks ended up winning that game. Let's go to Kenny Raiders. The O-line needs to put the pain to Bose's ass. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. One of my keys to victory, and I said the biggest key to victory this week, is keeping Derek Carr upright and making sure guys like Joey Bosa and the rest of the Chargers defensive line don't really rattle Derek Carr's cage. If you end up doing that, and Carr's clean pocket, I really think Las Vegas is a real shot to win this game. So who y'all got? Type LB for the Raiders or LAC for the Los Angeles Chargers. I know both of y'all are going to probably go ahead and spam LB. And I don't blame you. You're on a three-game winning streak in the Chargers a few weeks ago. They lost to the Houston Texans. Now, what do we always say on the show? Put your money where your mouth is. And if you're sitting there spamming LB, well, then guess what? That's the offense set to go, led as always, by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the... Easily find all the plays that are boosted. 22. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that to his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as they'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. This is fielded at the 27. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Keep an eye on which team has momentum using the factors, fine details. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Ali Marpet, the guard, caught there. A handoff to Fournette. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. From the 38, Brady flushed out right. Brady now on first down. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. That throw by Brady incomplete. Now for these Bucs, Charles, 31 to 9, they were winners the last time these two teams met back in February. And what kind of chances do you give them of going back to back? You know, it hasn't been done since the Super Bowls in 2004 and 2005. But when you analyze this team, you start with the front office. It's the same GM. The head coach and his staff, essentially the same. They brought back all 22 starters from last year's Super Bowl championship team. And oh yeah, there's a certain Mr. Brady who won both of those titles in 2004, 2005. That's the starting quarterback there. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The Bucs try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. A gain of six there on first. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. to throw once more. A quick slant to Hill. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Jason Pierre-Paul. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. It's a pickup of 12 and that'll set up the third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork.
From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. First and goal at the one. They'll try to run with Edwards in there. He takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards in there able to take it in from one yard out as his guys are on the board first here tonight. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7 0 game. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards Alaire. This one fielded out the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, of course, the 2020 season, a memorable one for this Tampa Bay franchise. They make the big move. They go out, they get Tom Brady, and you thought, okay, maybe that makes them contenders. Well, they qualify as a wild card, get the playoffs. They have to win three games on the road to get to the Super Bowl. And sure enough, they do just that. And boy, were they rewarded by winning those three on the road in the playoffs because they got to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. So it seems like a little bit of karma. And remember on Super Bowl Sunday at the end of it all, we were just left shaking our heads saying, son of a gun, number 12 did it again. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And he's got Gronkowski. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rob Gronkowski there to make the grab. And the box are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And we are tied here in the second quarter. A drive there of just four plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you look ahead to this upcoming 2021 season, Casey going to be trying to get back to the Super Bowl for a third consecutive season. And that doesn't happen very often. And as I've often heard you say, CD, for good reason. And you're exactly right about that, partner, because you think about all the things that have to go right. You have to win a lot of close games. You've got to dodge the injury bug. Hope there's not another dominant team in your conference that you have to go up against. But working in their favor, they've got one of the best guys on the sidelines, their head coach, Andy Reid. And you still got that guy wearing number 15, who in theory is just now coming into his prime. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's Tommy Townsend now as he'll punt it away for the second time. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. The final shot before half for Brady. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. We now you can adjust your game plan at halftime based on team tendencies in the first half. Proceed to the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The 
Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at that time? Well, I think they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And down inside the 15, he goes. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now a first down carry by Jones. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He sets up the screen to Jones. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for. Is they... And Alex Mike, oh, in. Touchdown. Get the crowd of that. Get the crowd of that. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Brady will look to throw oh. for it. And they're oh, going to get a two-point conversion. Right, this one's caught. Oh, and it stretches their lead up to eight. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the ball. And the Chiefs Whoa. are going to make the recovery. How do you hit stick? Oh, no, I didn't have any fault. 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 Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, this Bucks defense, you remember, pretty stout last year, the number six overall unit in the NFL. And I think that as the season wore on, and you pointed this out to me as well, you start to see some of their rookies begin to figure things out. And they played a little more like the top two or three defense down the stretch. And I would say that in the playoffs and the Super Bowl, they were truly the best defense in the NFL. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's a great one. There's a little bit of steak, buddy. Down for a nice little game. Second and four. They go back 
to the ground with Edwards aware. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Edwards Alaire on the counter. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. And he's got it. This is a good game. We are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the timeout, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now Brady. That's caught by the big tight end. O.J. Howard. And he's brought down after a very nice game. From midfield, here's Brady. That's a bad throw, that's a bad throw. And this hit is incomplete. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brady's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. Oh my God, he's playing it, eh? He'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. On first and 10, here's Brady. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Bust through the tackle. He will push his way down to about the 14. Clock running. The Bucs trying to go quickly and get set. Now Brady. Flush to his right. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucs. Mike Evans. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Buccaneers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. This. Important extra point up and through. And oh, take a seven point lead. You can't go up big Mike, man. The they play Mike. Six plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Ryan suck up on after the touchdown to kick it away. A fairly short kick for the 14. Oh, go ugly. He tackled just shy of the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run. Keep down, down, boy. 50, 50. Most of the time, when you have the offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their own. You're hitting out, hitting out. This is crazy, man. Right? Right, that's me. That's me. That's me. Catch the ball, man. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. You would have put that in my sleep, bro. Mahomes to throw it. And that's not good, really. That's caught. It's DeMarcus that Robinson. And this is going to lead to another first down. It's a timeout. Yeah, man. Now it's 42. Now a timeout called for by the offense. Get for the tight up. Thirty seconds left. To go in the football game. The drive continues. Come on, Richard. Richard, make a big play. Make a big play, Richard. Here's first and ten. Good boy. Get it. Get it. Come on. Good. Get it. What's that? Hit no penalty. What? What the hell? Is so now, uh, what? Really looking at the sideline, saying, "Are you sure?" But yes, this defense has accepted the penalty. So that means they will not take possession on the fumble recovery. We're well, not sure why in the world you do that, but that is apparently the decision. He got it. He's a ball. I'm gonna put that in my suit. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and that'll bring up second down. Mahomes. Beat up. Beat up. Beat up. He's taken down. 
the strongest player in the NFL right now, man. The as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Mahomes. No, 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 I ain't touching. No, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, what's this doing anyway, bro? And you're exactly right. When you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Mahomes. Oh, no way it is short, man. That's it, I don't think so. Look at how he's yelling around, I'm running out. I'm trying to look at the wall and bump right here. I'm gonna kind of Oh, it's my Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, does he have the distance? He does! Oh! My goodness, he hits it from the parking lot as time expires! Oh, really? And it'll be a hot time at Ebor tonight. The Bucks have won the football game. So it's a victory here for the Tampa Bay Bucks. And Charles, it would appear that Tom Brady and company, they just seem to have the Chiefs number. And when you think about how hard it is to repeat in this league, I think a win like this, all right, let's talk to a man like go. Time to go, Brady, man. What are you doing, man? The NFL 22 is player classes. Providing a new way to engage, earn, and share your class progress. Oh, I want to do this. Yeah, I'm coming, G-Show.